गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वी आर स्टडिंग क्लास ट्वेल्थ अकाउंट्स ओके अंडर क्लास ट्वेल्थ अकाउंट्स ऑलरेडी वी हैव सीन वी आर सीन द पार्टनरशिप अकाउंटिंग अंडर पार्टनरशिप अकाउंटिंग वी हैव स्टडीड द फंडामेंटल ऑफ द पार्टनरशिप दिस वॉज द फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ क्लास ट्वेल्थ अकाउंटिंग सेकेंड चैप्टर वॉज द गुडविल एंड वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट third a new chapter is admission of a partner admission of a partner in partnership firm okay my dear students so we will know how this chapter is important for your board exam admission of a new partner Yeah, partners admissions. It is the most important chapter according to your board exam. Okay, so we have to concentrate. We have to study very concentratedly to this chapter. Okay, and we have to know all the principal and accounting concepts regarding admission of a new partner regarding this chapter very sincerely and concentratedly. So we are starting what. admission of a new chapter partner my dear friends the first question is arising here what are the need of a admission of a new partner in the partnership business what are the needs of admission of a new partner in the partnership business what are the need Why we why we admit a new partner? So first of all, we have to understand all these things. When we will understand the need of a new partner, then we can easily understand to the the next concepts. Okay, my dear friends. So see here what I have written here. Why the need of admission of a new partner? Here I have written why the need need of admission of a new partner in the partnership firm. First of all, we will understand. The first thing is the first thing comes men men or we can see experienced person experienced person. okay or we can say a key person for the business key person for the partnership business the first need first need for the admission of any partner is a man okay the need of men why the need of men for a business for a partnership business because when a man will enter a person will enter in the partnership firm he will act as an agent or owner of the partnership firm he will act as an agent or owner of the partnership firm so the, if the there is a need of a responsible persons then when the partnership firm will admit a new partner he will fulfill his needs needs of man in a man the firm will get a experienced person experienced person for that type of business whatever the partnership firm is doing key persons suppose those whose partner are coming those are the experience they are the experience then they are they will be key person for the business concern that type of business concern getting you all so the first need of the admission of a new partner is men second capital second need the need of capital my dear students when a new partner will admit in the partnership firm he will bring the amount of cash as a capital 
getting you will bring the amount of capital okay so if there is a need of money in the partnership business firm and business want to expand their business then how business will expand how business will grow so for this requirement the business need money and this money will come from a when a new partner will come in the partnership business then he will bring the amount of cash and the business will fulfill their needs from this amount this capital getting the owner first needs men second one is capital third growth or expand suppose you are a and b both are the partner and they want to expand their business in cities in states in at national level so for for the growth or expansion of the business for the growth or expansion of the business the firm required a men and capital both but the main thing is the firm wants to grow from want to expand their business so the third need is expansion or growth for the concern if the firm is want is getting it is the firm wants what to expand to expansions to growth of the concern then he will go for the admission of a new partner because for the growth and for growth or for expansion of the concern there is a requirement of men there is requirement of hand working hand and the amount of capital also getting you all fourth goodwill goodwill okay in the last chapter already we are knowing the meaning of goodwill how goodwill influence how goodwill affect how goodwill affect the value of firm okay so the firm wants to admit of a new partner and someone is very uh, reputed person and he wants to be a partner like there are uh, in the um, in mumbai i want to give one example in mumbai there are various cricketers there are many cricketers and celebrities they wants they become partner for the name change for the only goodwill because when they will connect to that business the goodwill of the partnership firm will definitely high so goodwill of the partnership firm if the firm wants to be famous if then he will definitely he will go for a tie up with the celebrities he will he want he will make a partner to any famous persons so if the firm wants to be famous wants to more, more reputation in the market then the firm will go for the admission of a new partner admission admit a new partner getting all so we all are getting for the admission of a partner what are the needs why the need of admission of a partnership uh, of a new partner in the partnership firm the first thing is men experienced person working hand in the business second one is capital cash third one is growth or expansion of the business if the business wants work growth or expansions then we will go for the uh, admission of a new partner fourth thing is goodwill if the business wants to be more famous then we will admit a new partner the four main reasons which are needed in the for the admission of a new partner okay getting you all why the need of admission of a new partner in the partnership firm so these all are the reasons these are all the main reasons whatever you can say okay second thing when a new partner will come in the partnership firm when a new partner will bring will will, will come then what question will be arise means when a new partner will part in in the partnership firm then what type of question will arise first of all we have to understand all these questions and all these questions are a point are the headings okay for you whatever whatever you will study in the next next lectures okay my dear students so see here what question will arise suppose a and b 
देर आर टू पार्टनर ए एंड बी देर आर टू पार्टनर ओके एंड सी मिस्टर सी इज कमिंग इन द पार्टनरशिप फॉर्म सी इज कमिंग इन द पार्टनरशिप फॉर्म then what question will be arise okay my dear friend the first question is arise calculation of net profit sharing ratio calculation of net profit sharing ratio i have written npsr i have written here npsr n p s r it means New new profit sharing ratio. New profit sharing ratio. The C will think about what percentage of profit he will get. So the first question will arise when the new partner will come in the partnership form. What calculation of net profit sharing ratio? New profit selling ratio. New profit selling ratio. It means A and B. Suppose there are two partners and they distribute their profit ratio one is to one. And what percentage of profit he will give to C and how much profit, how much they will sacrifice for the C and what C will earn from A and B. So all these things we will study the topic. Calculation of the first question in net profit sharing ratio. Second, accounting treatment of goodwill. My dear friends, in the last chapter already we have seen the valuation of goodwill. How can we value the amount of goodwill? But here we will learn how accounting treatment of goodwill. Accounting treatment of goodwill means when a new partner will come. Will uh, admit uh, in a partnership firm, then he will get a set of business, well established business. And when he will get the established business, then he has to pay for the goodwill, for the established brand name. So all these things we will study accounting treatment of goodwill. See here the second term is second point is accounting treatment of goodwill. Third point. Accounting treatment of joint life policy (JLP). You can say JLP. Accounting treatment of joint life policy. We will study in the next le next lecture JLP joint life policy. It means when A e and B there are two partner and C will bring. Okay, then means the life insurance the policy. Of all the partners by the partnership firm, we will see in this topic accounting treatment of joint life policy. Getting over fourth revaluation of assets and liabilities. This is the most important topic for your partnership business, partnership firm, partnership accounting. Revaluation of assets and liabilities. When a new partner will Admit as a new partner, the assets and liability of the firm will be revalued. Will be revalued. Okay, asset and liability both will be revalued. We will see in the this lecture when we will see revaluation of assets and liabilities. Okay, distributions of reserve and accumulated profits. Distribution of reserve. And accumulated profits means whatever profit, general reserve, PL profit and loss account, credit balance of PL account, and many type of specific reserve, the firm has been. And when a new partner will come, then then he will ask for the all these things. He will, he will ask for the share in between all the profit, reserve, and accumulated profits. So. This we will distribute all these things before the addition of a new partner. Distribution of reserve and accumulated profits. We will see what are the accounting treatments under this. Okay. Last one is adjustment of partners' capital account. 
एडजस्टमेंट ऑफ पार्टनर से आपके लेना हूं अकॉर्डिंग टू द न्यू पार्टनर रेशियो एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू द ओल्ड पार्टनर रेशियो we will see the adjustment of partners have to be known in the this in this heading in this topic okay so my dear students you have to note okay serial points and all these points we will study in the next lecture we will start from the calculation of net profit sharing ratio in the next next lecture so we are introducing today admission of a new partner we were getting very well what are the needs of why the we admit a new partner what are the needs of admission of a new partner so i have given four reasons men experienced person key persons for the business capital cash growth or expansion goodwill okay and when a new partner will comes in the partnership firm when a new partner will comes in a partnership firm then what question will arise so these all are the questions you can note very easily okay in your copy and prepare notes okay for this chapter so we will see the next next topic in next class for today thank you thank you very much